first saw Alexa run in middle school cross country race, her eighth grade year. So I watched her run, I thought, oh my goodness. So I talked to her parents and, and I said, hey, do you mind if I write her a, you know, a letter? And I'm like, hey, you're special. I wasn't super focused on cross country. It wasn't until varsity trials that I realized that I was gonna be our number one runner. We knew that, that you know, at that point, she was going to be fast. level of intensity around training has increased. To be able to adapt, adapt, and adapt, and continue to improve. I haven't seen a, a female athlete like her. <laughs> we knew that there was going to be limited opportunities to be challenged in the high school, you know, in the high school meets. So we were looking for opportunities to be challenged um, at a higher level meets. So I was in third period. I was in chemistry, and my athletic director had told me to sit down, and my dad was on the speaker. Alexa was ineligible for competing in, in, within the WIAA meets from that point through the end of her high school career. It was really hard because I just didn't know like what was going to happen. She was still going to find meets for her to be able to compete. She didn't slow down on her training, she just kept pushing through. Let's go Lux, good job! Efferson rolling into the home stretch, your clear leader and the most dominant high school runner we've ever seen. The confidence that Alexa was gaining um, was it was putting her, her in a different category, but it let her be herself. Either way, even if I was going to be on my cross country team or I'm going to be running for Nike, either way, it's not like I'm going to be an average high schooler. I'm telling you, this girl is dynamite. She's going to blow it up. Well, there's going to be critics out there, but what are you going to do about them? <laughs>